Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have uh, x to the power of 6 and its whole square root equals to 3 to the power of 6 and its whole square root. Uh, and we solve this problem for the values of x. So here first we need to uh, eliminate this square root on both of the sides so that uh, in order to eliminate this square root we need to take uh, the uh, squares on both of the sides. Uh, so it will be written as x to the power of 6 and its whole square root and its whole square equals to 3 to the power of 6 and its whole square root and its whole square. So you see that these two and square root are gone. Similarly, these two and this square root are gone and we will obtain here x to the power of 6 equals to 3 to the power of 6. So further in the next step, we need to move this 3 to the power of 6 in the left hand side. So it will be written as x to the power of 6 minus 3 to the power of 6 equals to 0. Uh, and now here we rewrite this equation as in this form. So we write this x to the power of 6 as uh, x cubed and its whole square minus we write this 3 to the power of 6 as uh, 3 cubed and its whole square and this whole equation equals to 0. And now in the next step, we need to apply here the nice algebraic formula. You know that if you have a square minus b square, it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b. So according to this uh, formula, we write our above equation as in this form. This is, this will be written as x cubed minus 3 cubed into x cubed plus 3 cubed and this whole equation equals to 0. So this equation implies that either x cubed minus 3 cubed equals to 0 or x cubed plus 3 cubed equals to 0. So here we have these two possibilities or these two cases. There. And now here in the next step, we need to uh, solve these two equations one by one. So here we call this is our equation number one and we call this is our equation number two. So first we need to focus on equation number one so that uh, from equation number one we have. Here we apply this cubic formula in equation number one. So if we have a cubed minus b cubed, it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square. So according to this formula, you see here our a is x and our b is 3. So we just substitute the values of a and b in this nice formula and we get the output of this equation. And so here our a is x, so it will be written as uh, x minus 3 times of a square a is x square plus a b so here our a is x and b is 3 plus b square b is 3 square and this whole equation equals to 0 so here uh, we need more simplifications and it will be written as x minus 3 times of x square plus 3x plus this 3 square equals to 9 and this whole equation equals to 0 so here we have two cases. The first case is we write x minus 3 equals to 0 and the second case is we write x square plus 3x plus 9 equals to 0. So in the first case we easily get the value of x is equals to 3. Uh, this is the first root of the given equation and now in order to find the other roots we need to solve this quadratic equation. Uh, so because this is quadratic equation and here we can apply the quadratic formula in order to solve this equation. So first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to 3 and c is equals to 9 and quadratic formula is stated as x equals to minus b plus minus square root of uh, b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So this is the our quadratic formula and now here uh, we need to substitute the values of uh, a, b and c and we get the other values of x from here. So uh, we put the above values of a, b, c and we get here x equals to this is minus b. The value of b is 3 it will become minus 3 plus minus square root of b square. b is 3 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 9 and it is divided by 2 times of a. So here our a is equals to 1. 
here we need more simplification then it will be written as x equals to minus 3 plus minus square root of 3 square equals to 9 minus here we have 4 times of 9 divided by 2 so here we need to take common 9 from the uh, square root term and when you take common 9 we get the remaining terms are 1 minus 4 divided by 2 and here we obtain minus 3 plus minus we know that the square root of 9 becomes 3 and 1 minus 4 equals to minus 3 divided by 2. So finally we have the other two roots of the uh, given equation are minus 3 plus minus 3 times of uh, square root of 3. Here we know that when a negative sign becomes inside the square root it will become iota and it is divided by 2. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation. And now after that we need to focus on equation number 2 so that uh, from equation number 2 we have first we copy down equation number 2 here it is x cubed plus 3 cubed equals to 0 and now we can apply here the other cubic formula here so uh, we have a cubed plus b cubed equals to a plus b times of a square minus a b plus b square so now we apply this cubic formula so for this formula we have our a is x and b is 3 so this equation is written as x plus 3 times of x square minus x times of 3 plus 3 square equals to 0 and here we again divide this equation into two cases the first case is we write x plus 3 equals to 0 and the second case is we write x square minus 3x plus this 3 square equals to 9 and this whole equals to 0. So here we get the fourth root of the given equation is x is equals to minus 3 and now here in order to find the other roots we need to solve this quadratic equation. So here we again apply the quadratic formula and now first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to minus 3 and c equals to 9 and the quadratic formula stated as x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of a c divided by 2 times of a and now here in the next step we need to substitute the values of a b and c in this nice uh, formula so that when you put the values of a b and c it will be written as this is minus b the value of b is minus 3 so this is minus times of minus becomes plus 3 and plus minus square root of b square b is minus 3 square minus 4 times of a is 1 c is 9 it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as uh, x is equals to 3 plus minus square root of minus 3 square equals to 9 minus 4 times of 9 divided by 2 and here you see that again we have 9 be the common term inside the square root so that when you take common 9 we get 1 minus 4 divided by 2 so here we obtain 3 plus minus the square root of 9 becomes 3 and 1 minus 4 square root equals to minus 3 divided by 2. So again we write over this minus 3 as 3 plus minus 3 times of square root of 3 into iota and it is divided by 2. So this is the uh, last sixth root of the given equation. And this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.